Hi, I'm going to show you how I took this picture and turned into this picture. Hi, I'm Mari Pfeiffer, website designer, and I work with coaches and consultants and I create beautiful and effective websites for them that help them attract the people that they most want to do business with, connect with them, and convert them into loyal customers and clients. So if this is your first time here, welcome. It's really nice to see you, nice to meet you. And if you've been a regular watcher or a subscriber, well, welcome back. It's nice to see you again. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I took one really good picture, which I, I guess I didn't really need to edit or change, but I just felt like it. Um, and I'm going to show you how I isolated the people in the front, blurred and desaturated the background. And I'll talk a little bit about why I did this, because if you've been following me at all, or if you know me at all, or if you've worked with me, you'll know that I love great pictures. I think that effective pictures really can move. Uh, a visitor or a prospect to a buying or a hiring decision. So I'm going to show you how I did this and we'll talk a little bit about why and then you can let me know what you think in the end. So the tool that I like to use, or I should say the software that I often use for creating things like social media posts or thumbnails, things like that, is Adobe Express. It's part of the Adobe Creative Cloud and I just love this program because it makes life it makes work so much easier. It is not the most perfect thing, but it is pretty close. You don't need to have any coding skills to use it. It's just, it's really wonderful. All right, so we're in Adobe Express and I'm going to create a new project. So I first will come over here and, and select custom size. And it does help to know the size of the object or the media that you're going to create. So mine is going to be 1920 by 1080. And um, let's see, I'm just going to fill the background with color. It doesn't matter what this color is. It's going to be this kind of ugly faded butter color for now. Um, but this is just the background, the base uh, layer of the entire project. So the next thing I want to do is grab a photo and you've probably seen it already. If you watch this video from the beginning, I'm going to close that panel. And what I'm going to do first is drop this down to 75% so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. Now this picture, I'm going to talk about it in just a moment. First of all, I'm going to bring to size it so that it fills the whole window and I want it to be perfectly centered horizontally and vertically, which it now is. You can tell by the um, the pink dashed lines. All right, and there we go. And what I'm going to do then is create a duplicate of this. So we go over here and create the duplicate by just clicking on that. And again, I want to make sure that this layer is completely perfectly centered and it is. Now before I go any further, I just want to tell you something about this picture. I said earlier that I would talk about why I would do this. I would create this effect where the people in the picture are in color and the background is black and white. First of all, it is not necessary. What I'm doing is just an enhancement, just a stylistic choice that I made to make the picture stand out even more. And the reason is, is that the gentleman in this picture, the one in the center, his name is Tom House, and the one to our left here is Charlie Newtbar. They are considered some of the best baseball pitching coaches in the U.S. And when they hold specialized clinics and workshops, people want to know, are these people going to give me one-on-one -on -one attention? And this picture tells that story. It says, yes, you will, because their clinics and their workshops are pretty pricey. I don't know how much they are, but I think some of them might go for as much as a thousand dollars for just two days and considering that people have to travel from afar and book hotel rooms or airbnbs and so on uh, to attend these they want to know what they're getting ahead of time and this picture can really help now this picture by itself i think is very good it was taken by a professional photographer and i think it already tells that story but since we're going to add this special effect that's uh, what I'm going to show you. I think it can enhance that story. All right, so we've got two layers of the identically same picture, same picture, all right? Now, what Adobe Express does is it works in layers, very much like a lot of other Adobe software. And the layers are down here. So we have that base layer, that found, that background layer in that 
weird butter color. And then we have this first picture we laid down, and that's the one I first want to work on. So by just selecting it here, I know that even if we don't see the effect right away, um, that's the one I'm working on. And this one I want to turn to black and white first. So I click on Filters, I activate it, and at first it, it just automatically selects this other weird duotone. But what we want is grayscale. We want that background image to be black and white. So in order to make sure that it's done its work, you can just hold on to the first layer and you can pull down and you'll see that that second layer there is indeed in black and white. So we're just going to move this one back up. So and remember, it's got to be perfectly centered. And so now that I've clicked on this top layer, this is where we're going to remove the background and let Adobe do more of its magic. This just takes a few seconds. And there you go. You can clearly see that these skies are now in color and the background is black and white. I don't want to do any more to it right now at least. So I'm going to click on done and voila. You've got these guys in color and the background showing through from the previous layer. Remember we've got that layer in black and white here. We've got these guys cut out here without the background and you've got this picture that has them in color and the black the background in black and white. Now like I said earlier, this is not necessary. This is um, a, a simple stylistic choice that I made and I feel it tells the story of you know whether people going to one of their clinics is going to get some time alone with Tom or Charlie or some of the other really great coaches that they have and um, they will. So um, that's how you do it. I think Adobe Express makes this very easy. Normally I would have put this in Photoshop and then used the magnetic lasso tool to go around their shapes very carefully and that's a, in many ways a more precise um, approach because sometimes um, if you don't have a picture or I should say if your picture does not have much contrast between the subject matter that you want to keep in color and the background that you want to make black and white this remove background technique may not work or it may not work well. In this case, the picture had enough contrast between these three people and its background and that's why it worked pretty well. All right, well, I hope that this has been interesting and helpful to you. And if you have a project that's similar where you wanna give this a try, please do and let me know how the results turned out. Um, I think it adds just this nice little touch to a picture. Uh, just make sure that your picture is nice and contrasty to begin with and that you have a good purpose or reason for doing it. All right. Thanks for watching. I very much appreciate it. And I'll talk to you again soon in my next video.